Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are trying out Starbucks 2022 holiday menu, which I am super excited for because their holiday menu I think is probably one of my favorites out of their seasonal menus. So I did go ahead and place my order on the app. Let me tell you guys what all we got and then we'll go through the drive through and pick it up. So I got the iced caramel brulee latte. I also got the iced chestnut praline latte. I got the sugar plum cheese danish which i tried to get last year but all of the starbucks in my town were sold out of it so i'm super excited to try that this year i also got the irish cream cold brew which i don't think i've tried before i know i've had their irish cream but not on the cold brew i also got the sugar cookie almond milk latte which i got hot because i did not like it cold last year and then we got the reindeer cake pop which is returning we got the chocolate pistachio swirl. It's like a cinnamon bun. That is completely new. So I am very excited about that. And then we also got a peppermint mocha hot. Cause I feel like when you get the peppermint mocha, you have to get it hot in my opinion. <laughs> but let me go ahead and pop into the drive-thru so we can get our order. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hi, good morning. Um, I have a mobile order for Daisy. You said Daisy? Let me check on that. Okay. We gotcha. Come on down, Daisy. Okay, thank you. No problem. Hey, how's it going? Hey, How are you? Good, thank you. Do you need any more straws? I gave you two. No, that should be okay. good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, have a have great day. You too. All right, you guys, we have secured our Starbucks order. Hey, okay, I am so ready to try this. Let me find some good parking. I think where I did my intro at was good. Actually, the way I'm facing right now is like perfect. So let me actually park over here because I feel like Look, this is pretty good right here. Let me get set up really quick and then we will get to trying these Starbucks drinks and treats for the 2022 holiday season. Who's excited? Drop a thumbs up on this video if you are excited, <laughs> just as excited as me. All right, you guys, so we have everything set up. The first thing that I wanna point out to you guys is the new holiday cups that they have for their hot drinks. So this is the tall peppermint mocha, and it is in this cup that looks very cheery and holiday-esque, which we love. And then we also have this one, which kind of reminds me of Christmas trees. I think that's what they were going for <laughs> with this one. This is the tall, oh, sugar cookie almond latte. Honestly, I really like both of them. I think they are both perfect for the holiday. It definitely gets you into the mood, and these cups make me want to drink hot drinks more because I am definitely a cold drink kind of girl when it comes to Starbucks. I love their iced drinks. I'm gonna go ahead and try the cold drinks just so they don't get too watered down. Let's try the Irish cream cold brew first. So here is our Irish cream cold brew. Got the topping on there. Ooh, okay. You know, I'm usually not a big fan of their cold brews, but this is actually really tasty. Something about the Irish cream, I think just instantly makes any drink better. And the topping, I think the topping is some sort of chocolate powder. Mm-hmm. Mmm, oh, this is tasty and it's strong. So if you guys like a good strong iced coffee with a little bit of sweetness to it, this is your drink for sure. Next up, I'm going to try the iced caramel brulee latte. So again, here is a little close up of the drink. That is delicious. I mean, granted, it's very sweet. <laughs> so if you like a good sweet drink, this is it. The flavor is so good though. That caramel. It's like a toasted caramely flavor. 
I think because it's caramel brulee. Is the caramel syrup in this different than their regular caramel? I think it is. It's definitely more of a toasted caramel flavor. Not really a smoky flavor to it, but just, yeah, toasted. Okay, next up we have the iced chestnut praline latte. I think this is definitely a favorite of mine for sure. I love this one whenever it comes back each year. This is one that I will get made into more of an iced coffee. I don't get the latte version, but I love getting the chestnut praline syrup and an iced coffee. I think also if you get a brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso sub the brown sugar for the chestnut praline syrup, that would be really good. Okay. Okay, wow. Totally different flavor from this one. This one is much more nutty. <laughs> we love a good nutty coffee, you guys. I'm not so much a fan of hazelnut, but I love their toffee nut syrup and their chestnut praline syrup. So, so delicious. See, lately I've been getting the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso, but instead of brown sugar syrup, I get toffee nut. So I need to try it with the chestnut praline syrup. This one is way less sweet, for sure. Drinking this after drinking this one, this does not taste sweet at all. So I think if you want something with that nice holiday flavor, but isn't overwhelmingly sweet, this one is really good. But again, you have to like that more nutty flavor. I know the nutty flavors, it's not for everyone, but oh, this one's so good. Let's try one of the desserts before we get into the hot drinks. I'm actually gonna try the sugar plum cheese danish first. Guys, I'm so excited for this item because this was sold out everywhere last year. So this has got to be good if it is that popular. So that is what it looks like. That just looks insanely delicious on camera. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. yeah this is everything you could ever want in a holiday bakery item this is so good mm. it's extremely soft and then you get the flavor of the cream cheese in it because it has like a cream cheese frosting type deal. And then I'm guessing it's like a plum jam. Oh, that's so good. Guys, this is another thing that I could absolutely scarf down. <laughs> that is a 10 10 item. Okay, let's try one of the hot drinks now. Here is our tall peppermint mocha. So, cheers to y'all. Tastes exactly how I remember it. <laughs> very pepperminty. Goes down the, the throat very smoothly. I mean, this is a classic, you guys. I'm sure most of us have had the peppermint mocha at this point. Honestly, this to me tastes like hot chocolate, but with peppermint in it. So a peppermint hot chocolate. It doesn't taste anything like coffee. So if you're not a big coffee drinker, you don't really like coffee, but you want to get a little bit of a caffeine fix, this would probably be good if you like peppermint. The mochas have caffeine in it, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's espresso in this, but it doesn't taste like it. It just tastes like hot chocolate to me with some peppermint in it. Let's try another bakery item. I'm actually going to dive into the little reindeer. Look how cute he is. A little bit melted on that side, but oh, so cute. We love him. This is going to be super sweet, but who doesn't love a good cake pop? Mmm. Okay. Has the vanilla cake batter on the inside. 
I think this is so much better than the one that they did for the fall time. They did an owl for fall time. That's what it was. And I was not a big fan of that cake pop. There was something really artificial official flavor about it and I do love their cake pops this one is delicious like I would come back and get this one multiple times for sure this right here you guys this is it you guys who is ready for the holidays even Thanksgiving Thanksgiving and Christmas I just I love Halloween, don't get me wrong, but once Halloween passes and it's time for Thanksgiving and Christmas, there's just something about the feeling in the air and the joy that's associated with this time. I've actually been to New York City for the holidays twice now. So whenever I think of like Thanksgiving and Christmas, I think about being in New York City and it's just, there's something about it, walking around, seeing all of the Christmas displays in the windows, Macy's, the big Macy's in New York City with all the floors, they do all these incredible displays and they have a bunch of floors filled with Christmas trees. And there's just something about it that gives you such a good feeling. And I feel like there's so much nostalgia with this time as well because growing up, my family, or I guess, yeah, my parents went all out for Christmas. I would say Christmas was the best time of the year growing up and I'm so thankful that I have parents who love the holidays and decorated and it was it's just such a magical feeling I don't know how to explain it but all the movies that you get to watch granted Gabe and I went crazy on scary movies and Halloween movies we watched them all but for Christmas I love the Polar Express and A Christmas Story there's a lot. There's one, an older movie that I want to watch. I think it's called A Miracle on 34th Street or something. I don't know. My coworker told me about it and I was like, oh, I need to watch that. It's an older, older movie, but I just want to watch all the Christmas movies this year and get into the holiday spirit. Some of these previous years, I haven't really been in the mood, but this year I am ready, you guys. I am so ready. Okay, that's enough rambling on. Let's try our sugar cookie almond milk latte, hot. And this has blonde espresso in it. I think, is this the only one with blonde espresso? Might be. Oh yeah, okay, this is way better hot than it was last year cold. But again, I need to try this with oat milk, cold. Ooh, this is good. Yeah, it really tastes like a warm sugar cookie or a shortbread cookie. Have you guys had those little shortbread cookies with some dipped in milk? Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is delicious. This is so delicious. Let's try their new item. It's actually called the chocolate pistachio swirl. So it's chocolate, not cinnamon. I thought it was cinnamon just because I'm thinking of cinnamon buns. It looks really good. I love pistachio. I think it's just little chopped pieces of pistachio nut. Hmm. It is very dry. <laughs> It tastes really good, but yeah, it's a very dry bakery item. I think it definitely needs frosting on it. Okay, let's talk about favorites. So definitely top item, in my opinion, is the Sugar Plum Cheese Danish. This is top notch, you guys. This is the best item. I can see why it was sold out last year because, wow, this is so good. It's just the perfect amount of everything. The flavor is good. It's not dry. It's very creamy and smooth and soft. Yeah, y'all have to get that if you haven't tried it. Oh, they 
Guys, I didn't even mention the Cranberry Bliss Bar. So I had that last year. So last year I got the Cranberry Bliss Bar in my 2021 Starbucks holiday video. That is so good. I didn't get it this year just because I already got so much and I knew that the Cranberry Bliss Bar was really good. But try that one if you haven't. If you like cream cheese, the Cranberry Bliss Bar. That is so good. As for my favorite drink, hmm. I really like the Caramel Brulee Latte, but this one is really, really sweet. And because of how sweet it is, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't order it again. Favorite hot drink, 100% sugar cookie almond milk latte. This one is so good. I like the peppermint mocha, but for me, it's just too chocolatey, I think. But this one, this one's tasty. I think my favorite cold drink is gonna be the chestnut praline latte. Yeah, the iced chestnut praline latte. This one is not too sweet, which to me is very important because I don't wanna be overloaded with sugar in my coffee. This one's perfect. Maybe they just didn't make it extremely sweet, but it could just be the syrup because some of their syrups are way sweeter than others, but this one is perfect. I really like that one. The Irish Cream Cold Brew, I think you should get totally if you don't love super sweet coffee and you just want something a little bit more simple. Yeah, this one... It's a little bit watered down now. Doesn't have any sweetness to it. All right, you guys. Well, that is my review of the 2022 Starbucks holiday menu. There are a few items I did not get. They did bring back the snowman sugar cookie. I tried that in last year's video. The cranberry bliss bar, which we addressed. Um, I think I got all the drinks. I know that they, they have some sort of white white mocha hot chocolate but i don't really do hot chocolate so i didn't get that but this is most of the items please drop a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and if you are looking forward to more content for the holidays i love you guys so 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 much and i will see you all in the next video bye guys